Okay, it is uh, November 13th, 2015, 9.31 a.m., calling the Ramsey County uh, Correctional Facility slash Workhouse. You have reached the Ramsey County Correctional Facility. Please select one of the following options at any time. For general information, press 1. For visiting information, press 2. For work or school release information, press 3. For electronic home monitoring information, press 4. To speak to an operator, press 0. Three. Ramsey County Correctional Facility. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, thank you. Well, that's good. Say, uh, could you tell me who the jail administrator is? Okay, well, regarding, is it regarding a, an employee or a, well, an inmate? Uh, well, I, actually, it's uh, some general information I want to get about your facility, and I have some concerns about an inmate on top of everything else. I'm going to put you through to Captain Belfield. Could, um, he's, he's in a meeting right now, but he'll be in this afternoon. Well, I need to speak to someone right now, so. And what was the, what was the captain's name? Belfield, B E L F I E L D. Belfield. He He's... can help you with the inmate thing and plus the information with the, I mean, yeah, with the inmate thing plus the information with the facility. Okay. Could you give me his? <laughs> could you give me his uh, email address, please? Uh, sure. It would be. Oh, I have to look that up. <laughs> I don't know how his goes. Hold on. Uh, it would be. I don't know if it's under Chris or Christopher. Let me look. Uh, I have to pretend like I'm sending him an email. Okay, it's Chris, C H R I S, dot Belfield. Okay. At okay. Seal. Okay. Dot Ramsey. Okay. Dot okay. Dot US. Okay. And and what actually is the name of the jail administrator, please? I'm sorry. W what is the name of the jail administrator? Well, um, Al Carlson is the is the um, he's not the jail administrator. He's the super superintendent. Okay. Su but uh, superintendent. I know if you need uh, have problems. You know, the best one to start with would be Captain Belfield. Okay. And if that doesn't work, you know, you could just go start working. I mean, Captain Belfield's about as high as you can get, you know. Okay. So, you know, but if that doesn't work, you know, then we can just work our way up the, you know, just call me back and we'll go move the, we'll work up the ladder. Well, how about you give me Al Carlson's email then, please? It's the same as, as that, but it's Al Carl, Al Carlson. Okay. It's S-O-N? That's Carlson with a C? Yes. Okay. Uh, how about you just put me to his uh, number and I'll talk to him directly. 651-266. Okay. 651-266-1441. Uh, 1441. Could you transfer Wait, me, please? That's wrong. That's wrong. Thank you. Al Carlson. Yeah, this is Terry Numbers. How are you doing today? Good. Hi. Well, that's good. Say, um, I have some questions for you about uh, one of your prisoners, uh, Sandra. Uh, who are you, sir? Uh, my name is Terry Numbers. How do you spell that last name? N is in Nancy. E. Yeah. M is in Mary. M is in Mary. E. R. S. Okay. Who are you now? Uh, I didn't get your name, but who are you? Who am I? I'm a, the guy who's talking to you, asking you some questions about it. Are, are you a, a friend of somebody here? Or are you uh, just a citizen? Who are you? I'm a concerned individual okay. who's, who's found out that one of your prisoners is on lockdown for apparently no good reason at all, and I'm trying to find out why that is. And, and what's uh, his name? Uh, Sandra Grazzini Rucky. Uh, Grazzini, G R A Z Z I N I uh, hyphen R U C K I. Sandra okay. Sue. I'm locked down, okay. 
All right. Okay. Yeah, she's on lockdown. Uh, I was just wondering why. Uh, first of all, I'm trying to figure out how come she's in the workhouse instead of the adult correctional. Uh, the okay, and I I haven't seen the warrant of commitment, but um, well, so I can't answer I can't answer that right now. But to my knowledge, um, I'd have to check and see if she is on lockdown. I didn't know that we had anybody in the one who's on lockdown at this time. Um, well, uh, she's. I, I, She's I'm not. Trying. She's not been sentenced, so I'm trying to figure out why she's in the workhouse to start with. Okay, I don't. I don't. I don't have an answer for that right now without seeing a warrant of commitment. Okay. Well, uh, according. It, 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 I, got, I got two issues here. I guess first sure. off, I can I can spend my time. And I can look into this, but I'm not quite sure what your role in this is, and, and are, if you're just a friend of the family, or a friend of hers, or something like this. And, well, I guess that actually has that actually has nothing to do with whether she's on lockdown or not. I know that, but I mean, but that has to do with why I'm going to spend my time getting information and then dealing with you, sir. Well, see, what I'm going to do right now is I have your email address. Your uh, your uh, secretary there sent me that, so I'm going to send you a data request for right. some. That, that, that would make sense. Okay, for some. I, Readily available, free electronic public information, yep. and, and then oh, for some reason I got uh, I didn't. What is your what is your email address? My email address A L L E N. Okay, that's the problem. See, I was told it was just Al, and not Al. No, no, Al no, no, E N dot Carlson at C O dot Ramsey dot M N dot U S. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you'd send, that would be the way to go. If you would send that to me. Well, I still um, need some okay, answers right. right now, if you don't mind. Pardon me? I still need some answers right now. I'm trying uh, to no. do some do some retyping here, seeing so I was given misinformation by your staff. So that's the thing. Uh, I will forward this thing now to you. Hopefully that is going to be the proper address now. Let me see if I get it. If you're sending it right now, I'll see if I get it here. Yeah. Okay, it should have gone. Should say uh, forward chapter 13 data request Lexpol custody manual Priya data facilities inspection. Uh, Maya news. That's the one. One. Okay. Yep. All right. Now I've got it here. I'm going to. Well, what I need is to still find out how come Sandra is on uh, lockdown. And uh, why she's in a uh, facility for people who are sentenced when she has not been sentenced. She's just been recently arrested. So, in fact, she was sent to a malicious bail hearing when she was scheduled for an initial appearance and without her attorney. So a complaint was filed. You know, some orders in the court were had to be vacated because, uh, you know... You do use Zercher's technologies for your uh, software in the jail, don't you? Uh, no, we're not part of the Sheriff's Department here. We're the Corrections Department. Well, you are part of Ramsey County, right? Yes, so okay. I will. I will. And I have information from Zercher Technology that you're using this information for your jail. So, and I also aware we're not, that... We're not, we're not the Ramsey County Jail now. Well, I understand that there's a detention facility in the workhouse, so... That's the thing. So you're saying that you don't use Zerker technology? What I'm going to do is our standard practice here is I'm going to forward this on uh, any any request for data. For I go through the county attorneys here. I'm going to forward this on to them. We'll get this thing rolling for you. Okay. So in other uh, words, you're not competent enough to handle your own data requests. Is you that know what you're saying? And then what will happen is, is if you get other, some of those other questions, those are really questions for the courts. Well. Um, so uh, no, I'm know, asking we'll, questions we'll, about we'll, about your facility. I, I understand that. I understand that. But you know, like anybody else, Ramsey County has protocols for for dealing with this, and I'm going to follow those protocols. So, in other words, the protocol is you're not competent enough to handle your own data requests. You have to send it off to to. You can, you can insult me. That's not going to get us uh, anywhere. I'm probably. asking you a question. Are you competent enough to handle your own data requests? Absolutely, and I'm going to I'm going to handle that following the Ramsey County protocols. 
Okay, and the okay. Ramsey I'll County start. Ramsey County Protocols is to send it to Sir, County I Attorney have, Choi. I have your email here. I'm going to process this and we'll respond to you then. Well, I'm trying yeah, to okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if you have this information sitting on your computer in front of you or not. I do not. No, you so don't. I will, I will we'll process this. We'll get you what you what you're entitled to. Already. So, in other words, you don't have the Sir, uh, custody Sir, manual I'm in front of you. I'm going to process this now. I'm not going to send the phone and play these word games with you for the well, next 20 minutes. I'm not I'm playing word games. So I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Goodbye. I'm asking you legitimate questions. I'm not done speaking to you yet, so don't hang up on me. You have the number. You have my number, and you have my email now. So I'm going to get going on this. We're going to deal with it and get you information that you're entitled to. Okay? Yeah, well, actually. Right, thanks, thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Okay, December 3rd, 2015, 3.36 p.m., calling Ramsey County uh, Public Affairs Sergeant and Data Practice Sergeant John Eastham. Sergeant Eastham, this is Terry Nemers, 320-283-5713. I have a reason to suspect you're hiding behind your voicemail there. And, of course, now I've got your your uh, cell phone, so I'll call you on that, too. Uh, uh, did you just send me a harassing email? I have reason to suspect that you did. Uh, you're trying to, you know, pretend like you don't know what the data practice laws are? Well, that's fine. Apparently, you're trying to incite me to violence with this uh, retarded response that you sent me. So, of course, I'm sending another data request. I'm going to need some personnel information about you. I need the training logs for the years 2009 to 2015. That's the years the Minnesota Sheriff's Association has had a contract with Lexapol for readily available free electronic public information. And uh, I'm going to need the personnel data for you, uh, which you signed a statement of receipt acknowledging manual acceptance of the Ramsey County's 2000, uh, 2015 Personnel Handbook, Ramsey County's uh, 2015 Data Practice Manual, and the Ramsey County's Lexapol Policy and Procedure Manual. Because uh, you're supposed to acknowledge that you've received those manuals, you understand those manuals, and you're willing to comply with those manuals. And apparently, you think you are above the rules and above the law. That's why you're trying to incite me to violence with this harassing email. You make the wild and outrageous claim that uh, you don't have to email me some information. Of course, the model policy that I emailed you says that uh, we will provide electronic, electronic copies such as email CD upon request if we keep the data in electronic format, and that's from the model policy from iPad. And uh, you did not send me this uh, this information you claimed that you had in your possession that you didn't have to email me anything. So that's the thing. Or, you know, you didn't have to send me any electronic information. So apparently I caught you making some wild and outrageous claim and you're too scared. You're hiding behind your little voicemail because you don't want to admit that you're wrong. It's just that simple. So stop trying to incite me to violence. Email me my information. It's just that simple. Of course, now I have your cell phone, so I'll start calling that too. Terry numbers 3202835713. Bye. Okay, it is uh, December 4th, 2015, 1:55 p.m. calling John Eastham, Sergeant Public Affairs, Data Practice, Ramsey County. Eastham. 
Sergeant Eastham, this is Terry Nemers. How's it going today? I'm excellent. How are you, Terry? Well, I was just super until I got your harassing email. And then all of a sudden I... Harassing, uh, uh, huh? Yeah, okay. Harassing, yes. Uh, you, first of all, you... I think it's factual and it lays out your request for why we're not going to send them to you via email. Well, first of all, you emailed me some public, supposed public information from a uh, Moxley Goldsmith... Correct, it is public information. I verified uh, that with iPads. Thank you, though. Yes, so you admitted that you can email me readily available free electronic public information by emailing me this supposed email that came from Moxley Smith on June 3rd, 2015. Of course, it's not an official document because... Uh, Correct. You, that's it's right. Different. That's right. It's not an official document, so that's why I don't believe anything that's written on it. Well, that's fine. You don't have to. Well, that's I true. Simply, I was simply laying out to you why we are not going to email you any documents. Well, actually, you will. The no, thing actually, that, thank you. I've already established that point that we will not. Well, see, that, uh, again... Any other things that you would like to discuss with me today, Mr. Nemers? Well, I'm not done speaking yet, so if you'd stop interrupting me, I can finish my point. I'm not interrupting you. I'm simply trying to state that... You're interrupting fact, me. You're harassing me by not letting documents. me finish my sentences. Go ahead, finish that, your sentences. That's harassment. You're trying to incite me to violence, and I don't appreciate that. Okay. Why do you keep saying that all the time? Are you someone who's easily incited to violence? Well, I don't appreciate people trying to incite me to violence. I that's absolutely simple. am not, sir. If you think I am, I apologize, but I am not. Okay, stop interrupting me because that is a tactic to incite people to violence. You absolutely understand that? Absolutely not, sir. Yes, it I is. I don't appreciate you saying that. That's incorrect. <laughs> uh, well, I, first of all, I'm highly intelligent. I've seen this tactic before. So now, if you let me finish my sentence, are you going to let me finish my sentence? See, we'll take we'll take turns. I'll speak, then you speak. That's way we'll get things accomplished very quickly. Okay? See, you've already admitted that that's not an official public document. So there's it is a public document. Well, uh, n not the one you sent me because it's a facsimile of it. See, if it is what said, because you can easily falsify information. You know, I've seen that before. And in fact, I have your training books that teach people like you how to falsify evidence. So, and when I get your training logs, which you will email to me, I'll be able to see if you've been trained in the read technique. But anyhow, I am looking at some official public documents. One is the fee schedule for the city of Brooklyn Center. It says exception. There will be no charges for searching, retrieving, compiling, and electrons, electronically transmitting readily available data. And their policy and procedure manual on data practices states the exact same thing. Exemption. There will be no charges for searching, retrieving, compiling, and electronically transmitting readily available data data, which of course the information that I asked for is readily available electronic data. So that's real simple. See? So now you may speak. Uh, you reference Brooklyn Center? Yes. That is not the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, nor is that in Ramsey County. What they choose to do is up to them exclusively. We will not. Therefore, their policy does not hold any water with us. Well, of course it does, Next because point. this is a legal document. What you gave me is or not. Brooklyn Center. Next point, sir. Uh, no, 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 no. You can, you can dismiss. So you're saying Brooklyn Center is breaking the law? Absolutely not. I'm saying that oh, they okay. do things differently than we do. Uh, so in other words, oh, 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 I understand that. They comply with the, the data practice laws and you don't. No, they overextend themselves. <laughs> Right to do. We follow the law. Uh, Your next point, Mr. Uh, no, 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 no. You're trying to dismiss this. This oh, is. I am not dismissing No, I, you again, you I have official public, public Mr. documents. Mr. you said I could talk. Now let me talk. Uh, no, no. I you was speaking. I'm a document for Brooklyn Center. I'm simply pointing out to you that we are not the Brooklyn Center Police Department, nor is Brooklyn Center Police Department in Ramsey County. So Therefore, what? anything that, that they choose. That has absolutely follow, nothing to do with the data practice sir. laws. You are required to follow. Point, you are required to follow the What's data practice point, laws, sir? just like Brooklyn Center is. Their legal document. Their legal sir. document says. Anything else you would like to discuss, Mr. Numbers? Uh, I don't like you interrupting me. 
I already I'm explained that I'm asking you today. if there's anything else you'd like to discuss, because uh, you're kind of spinning your wheels with me no, here. No, no, oh, well, yeah, because you're on a script. You have a script to I'm harass me. I'm not on a script. Yes, I'm you are. I'm stating that I provided you factual no, you didn't. statutes in my email. No, you didn't. Which are indisputable. No, Any they are, they like are disputable because the, the information you sent me is disputable because you admitted that it's not an official document. So you're saying the state statutes are disputable? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the this email here. In my email are this disputable, sir. email here. See? All you do are is just stating the obvious. Well, obviously, you're required to send electronic information. Absolutely that's... not. I did it as a courtesy to respond to your question, not to your data request. Your question was, are we going to send you documents for free through email? Well, actually... Access that, and the answer is no. And I cited two statutes, which you required in our conversation previously. Okay, well, then I need to know if the... Anything else, sir? I, I need to know if the Minnesota uh, Post Board is violating the law because I just received a I notification... I have no idea what the Post Board is doing because, once again... We are not the post board. We are uh, the yeah, but the post the board Anything license, else? the post board issued, issued a license, didn't they? Anything else, sir? Did they, did they or did they not issue you specifically a license? Anything that the post board does with you because it is not my responsibility to answer questions for the post board. Uh, yeah. Anything else you would like to discuss? Uh, well, were you licensed office? by the Minnesota post board? Yes or no? Do you get continuing education credits for the Minnesota post board? I am not employed. I didn't ask, Therefore, but I asked if you were licensed. I am not responsible to answer any questions about the post board. Yeah, see, all you're doing is harassing any me. Any other now, see? questions? The thing actually, is, sir, if well, all I need to do is just forward this harassing phone call to the, call to the post board, then, right? Is see? there any other questions you would like to ask me pertaining to the sheriff's office that I am employed by? Uh, well, the thing is, does your Lexapro policy and procedure manual clearly state that the uh, Data practice manual is a public document. Yes or no? Uh, yes, our policy manual is a public document. Okay, and it says that right in your contract. Uh, our policy manual is a public document. No, does, I'm asking if the Lexapro policy and procedure manual says that in the policy and procedure manual. That's an electronic document. I don't know. I don't have it open in front of me right now. I'm no. simply telling you that our policy manual is a public document. Uh, no, the thing is... The Lexapro policies and procedure manuals, like the Duluth Police Department policy and procedure manual, clearly states that it's a web-based document. Okay. See? And so if it's a web-based document, the information's electronic, and pursuant to state statute, which is in my initial email, it says if it's in your possession, you have to email it to me. It's just that simple. Negative. That is incorrect. That was cited in the statutes that I gave you. No, it is not. You're, you're confusing the issue. Where does it say in a statute Anything that you are not like ask me, sir? Where does it say in your statute? It says, according to the data practice man, if I have questions about, uh, let's see, acronyms or uh, uh, anything like that, you're required to answer them. And I'm trying to figure out where it says in the statute that you're allegedly. Hold on. Hold on. Where... Got it right here. You asked me a question, allow me to answer. Let's see here. Sent to you. Thirteen point zero three point three subsection C clearly states if a person requests copies or electronic transmittal of the data to the person, the responsible authority may require may require and we are the requesting person to pay the actual cost for searching for and retrieving government data, including the cost of employee time and for making, certifying, and electronically transmitting the copies of the data or the data, but may not charge for separating public data from non public data. Minnesota State Statute 13.03.3, subsection E. The responsible authority of a government entity that maintains public government data in a computer storage medium shall provide to any person making a request under this section a copy of any public data contained in that media in electronic form. If the government entity can reasonably make the copy or have a copy made, this does not require the government entity to provide the data in an electronic format or program that is different from the format or program in which the data are maintained by the government entity. The entity may require, and we are, 
the requesting person to pay the actual cost of providing the copy. Okay. Those are two state statutes, sir. Okay. And I include where, in the letter. Where here. did it say that you are not required to email data in those two statutes? Where? Because I have the model policy, which I sent you. From Brooklyn it says, Center. Yeah. Uh, Once again, uh, we're not Brooklyn Center. Okay. We've already covered that. Okay. I did not. Did I email you those? No, I didn't email you. I said, because, because you're busy interrupting me all the time, I emailed you straight from, yeah. straight from the model policy from iPad, which says that you will email information. Well, it's see, we seem to be at simple. an impasse here, Mr. No, 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 I'll no. make it easy for you. We are not, I repeat, not going to email you anything for free, which is what you want. Okay. The thing is... Anything else that I can help you with today, since I've clarified that point for you? Well, that's simple. You've already emailed me what you claim to be a public document. See? The thing is, also... Anything else I can help with, sir? Well, I am not I, any uh, of your requested data. Stop not interrupting going to be emailed me. To you stop harassing me. Not okay. harassing you. Yes. You keep throwing that word around, and it's kind of disruptive. What I'm well, doing no, 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 no. You're disruptive because you, you keep on talking not, over me, and I don't appreciate I'm that. I'm not going to email you anything for free we are not required by state law to email you anything and we are definitely not required by state law to email you anything for free is there a so state your data requests are not going to be emailed to you for free okay is, is there anything else i can help you with today? okay stop interrupting me first okay is there a state statute that requires you to charge me for anything yes or no uh, there is a state statute that says that we can and we are going to okay. because we have a policy where so we do. That's not what I people. asked you. Well, thank you. I, it's not what I asked you. I asked I you. I answered your question. No, you didn't. Next question. What is there a state statute that requires you to charge me anything for my free electronic public data? Yes or no? See, you're not understanding the part where we're able to and we as a practice do. Is there anything else I can answer? There's no state statute that says that you are required to charge me anything. That is that is the law, right? The there. law is that we're allowed to. Yeah. And as a practice we do. So therefore since it would be unfair to everybody else that we charge if we weren't going to charge you we are doing the fair and equitable thing and charging you as well, which only you seem to have a problem with. I understand it, but it doesn't make it going to be any different. Okay. Next question. Well, all you've done is lied to me so far. But anyhow, Next question. I, well, where is my Minnesota Data Practice Act cost calculator that you're supposed to be filling out for these malicious charges that you're alleging that you're going to charge me for? Once the documents are actually prepared, I will send you that calculator. However, since we seem to be at an impasse with your, mm, shall we say, uh, consent to actually pay for the documents that you requested, uh, I'm not paying for free I am allowed information. to wait until we can come to a resolution for that impasse, at which point in time I would absolutely like I've stated previously, provide you with a very accurate breakdown of the exact costs for the documents that will be provided for you. Okay. Next. Well, make sure you include the salaries for all the Next. Ramsey County Sheriff's Department personnel. because That's actually a publicly available document, which uh, is on, I believe, the Star Tribune or the Pioneer Press website. No. So you can get that one for free. So in other words, you're telling me to go to hell, right? Absolutely not. I'm providing you access to a free document that is on a website Please. that I'm aware of, which is my duty to do. Well, Anything else? N no, you didn't say where it was. You said something allegedly exists. All you need no, to do I'm is... No, I'm absolutely positive that it does exist because I sent it to somebody the other day. I will actually cut and paste the link for you and email it to you. Oh, it is on well, a website. There you go. See? Well, it's on a public huh? website that's not maintained by the sheriff's office. I can share that information with you anytime, Terry. Right. Anything else? Right. Well, the thing is, did you, you email, you, okay, now, let me ask you this. Did you charge that individual to cut and paste that link out of this information you were talking about and, and then email, you know, charge them for emailing that to them? Because I want a copy it of that the document bill. that's maintained by the sheriff's office, so no. No. Uh, no, no, no. You cut. You said you took 
time and effort to take information and put it into a public data request. See? No, it yeah. was somebody that asked me a question. Well, I don't believe that. I answered that. the question. What, what? It wasn't a document that was maintained by the sheriff's office, but it was a public website that I was aware of. No. What? So I did it. Okay. Well, that is the answer. If you don't like the answer, that's not my no, issue. No, 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 no. The was, answer, was, anything else? Was this person asking for public information? I already stated to you that they did not have a data request and that I knew of a situation where there was publicly, readily available, non-sheriff's office maintained data. Is there anything else I can well, help it you? sounds like you fulfilled the data request there. So do you have a copy oh, of that please. email? See, here you go again. There is a huge difference between somebody asking if there's anything out there and me saying, you bet, it's available from the Pioneer Press. And you specifically asking for records that are only maintained by the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office, which is what you're asking for. Well, well I, I need to know, did he email this request to you or did he phone it in? No, actually, you don't need to know that. I've already answered that. Is there anything else I can help well, you with? Well, did you, did you do it on uh, your, uh, you know, during uh, company Once time? Once again, let me make this easy for you. The Ramsey County Sheriff's Office will not be emailing you any free data from your data request. Well, uh, we I... are sticking with Minnesota state law, which allows us to charge you for data that you request that is maintained by our agency. Is there anything else I can say to you that will help you in this? Do you have any other questions outside of this one question that I've covered a lot no, 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 no. that you uh, would like to answer? Uh, I need to know if this individual emailed you or he phoned you while you were on duty. See, because... See, you're misunderstanding the need to know and well, the want to know. Oh, oh. You want to know. See, the... I don't know. And I'm not required to tell you what I do every day. Well, the thing is, if he so, sent, if he is sent, there anything else I can help you with? Okay, I, stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. I'm simply telling you I've already answered. No, you have not answered my question. Yet. Because what if, I do with if, other people during my daily job is neither public data nor your data to re demand for public release. What a deputy does, what a sheriff sergeant does, what we all do on a daily basis. Uh, are you done? Are you done? Uh, that is filibustering? Data. Therefore, you have no right to know. Filibuster. No, you want to know. Filibuster. You don't have the right. Anything else? Filibuster. If, Anything else? If, uh, well, are your emails uh, subject to the Data Practice Act? Uh, absolutely. Okay, so then did this individual send you an email requesting that no, information? They did not. Okay, did they do a phone call? No, they did not. Okay, was it during your business hours? Okay, you've already covered the two. Well, I want to know if it, you lo if you documented it on yeah, your sure. daily... I didn't document it. I just am recalling something that happened. Oh, uh, so in other words, it's not in your daily logs. You have no phone record of it. You have no email uh, record of it. Pretty much done. You're just irritated that we're not going to send you this stuff for free via email. Well, is there uh, anything else I can do for you, or would you like me just to give you the information to my supervisor so you can call and have him tell you the exact same thing that I've been telling you, which is the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office is not going to, emphasis on the not, email you for free your requested data documents. Well, the thing is, uh, you are required this by... The phone call is going to be ending soon, sir, so if you would like the name of my supervisor, I am totally willing and able to give it to you at this point in time. Okay, because you're done harassing me then? No, no, no. I'm done with allowing you to take up my time. No, you're wasting my answered. valuable time and my valuable phone time. See, oh, oh, I, you called me, sir. I didn't call you. Yeah, you you sent me the you harassing. The you sent me the harassing email. Time. I did not contact you with harassment. You harassed me. me. You harassed me with the email. I called to find oh, out why you you're you're, you're harassing. Again with that harassment word. Yes. You required both in your email and in your phone call to me. Okay. Documentation of why we are not going to email you the stuff. I simply answered your question. No, you didn't. It's not harassment. It's a yes, simple it is. answer of a question. No, it isn't. Because I have public well, anyway, information. Would you like the name of my supervisor, sir? Yes, I would. Okay. His name is Inspector Mark 
Okay, hold, slow down. I'm not a speed you writer. You know that you record this. You can go back and listen to it. Okay, I want... Inspector Mark Weigel, W-I-E-G-E-L. Okay, so you're, so you're not... You're going to race through this. I want to be able to write this down. I want... Two, six, six, I started his last name. Nine, three, I have, three, don't have the phone number four. written down. I, I don't have his last name written down. I want to write his last name, so spell it for me slowly, please. How slowly would you like? Because I already did it once. I'll do it again, though. Please. Weagle. W-I-E-G-E-L. Okay. Phone number. Six, five, one. Okay, what's his email? Um, that would be Mark M A R K dot Weagle W I E G E L. Okay, who's the dot C O dot Ramsey R A M S E Y dot Okay, so who is the uh, assistant county attorney who is in charge of data practice for the county? That is assistant county attorney Tim Parker. Tim Parker? Tim, as in K I M. Oh. Okay, K I M. P A R K E R? Correct. Okay, and how? what's the email address? Okay, what's her phone number, please? Um, I'm sure it's in the email that she sent you before you harassed me with this. See, you're just going to have to stop using that harassment <laughs> because it's, it's, it's even the textbook definition of harassment, you are so far off the page. <laughs> anyway, um, the email, uh, her phone number actually is, I believe it's 651. 651. 266. 266. 3117. Three one what? Three one one seven. Okay, I thought you had an extra number in there. Negative. And right. remember, just because you call something harassment doesn't make it so. Yeah, just because you deny it's harassment doesn't make it's not harassment. So that's very simple. I'm positive it's not harassment. Yeah, I'm but positive anyway, it is. Anyway, so. What else do you have, sir? Anything well, else that I can help you with today, Terry? I'm well, actually, all you're going to do is waste more of my time. You already wasted 23 minutes and 17 seconds of it, so I'm not going to waste no, any you, more time. You called me, sir. No, you no, no. I, I responded to your harassing email. That's real simple. My factual email? Yes. Your harassing email that's not based on fact. Anything else, sir? Nope. I All think. Right. Well, you have a wonderful day. You too. Not going to be Bye. snotty about it this time? I thought you were real snotty the last time. <laughs>